So, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a heart and its arterial supply. So, let's begin. So, first, make a heart. So, this is how you make a heart. I hope all of you know how to make a heart. Then, you make the right atrium. You make the left atrium. And you make the interventricular septum. So this is the right atrium, this is the left atrium, this is the right ventricle, and this is the left ventricle. Now in the right atrium, in a superior vena cava and inferior vena cava enter. So this is the superior vena cava, and this is the inferior vena cava. Now let's draw the pulmonary trunk. So pulmonary trunk originates from the right ventricle. So we will draw the pulmonary trunk here in this space. So pulmonary trunk is like this t-shaped structure and we will remove the lines inside the pulmonary trunk so this is our pulmonary trunk now we will draw the aorta so aorta basically originates from left ventricle but from behind the pulmonary trunk it reaches this area so we will draw the aorta here aorta is round so we make a circle type thing and this is our aorta we remove the lines inside all right and we make the three arteries originating from aorta So this is our heart. Now we will make the blood supply of the heart. So uh, from the uh, right coronary artery originates from the interior surface of the aorta at its base. So it originates from here and runs in the right interventricular groove like this and then goes back. The arteries at the back I am drawing with a dotted line. So then it gives a posterior interventricular artery like this it also gives a marginal artery like this and an artery to the asa node at the beginning like this and at the end it gives another branch to the AV node so this is the artery to the AV node this is the posterior interventricular this is the right marginal now the left coronary artery originates from also from aorta at its base at the posterior side so I'm going to draw a dotted line which comes at the left interventricular atrioventricular groove so it comes here gives a branch to the anti interventricular septum so it runs an artery runs here and then it comes at the back supplying the apex of the heart meets the posterior interventricular artery of the a branch of the right ventricle then this artery running between the right, left atrium and left ventricle is called the left circumflex artery it goes back runs in the posterior interventricular groove meets the meets the right coronary artery so uh, now let's uh, lib, uh, make some branches of these arteries to give them a better look like this And now let's label the vessels. So this is the right coronary artery, right coronary artery, and this is the left coronary artery. This is the left circumflex artery, left circumflex artery. This is the left anterior descending artery or left or 
anterior interventricular artery anterior interventricular artery or left anterior descending artery this is the right marginal artery this is the posterior descending artery or posterior interventricular artery this is the artery to the SA node artery to SA node and uh, this is the artery to AV node one artery we forgot to draw is the left marginal artery like we have right marginal artery so there's also left marginal artery which is the branch of the left uh, circumflex artery at its posterior at the posterior side so this is the left marginal artery 